At the start of every semester, I give my students some advice. They'll look at the course outline and they will see that the midterm and final papers are worth 50%. And so they think that that is the most important things that they will have to worry about in the semester. And then everything else will work itself out in the wash. However, what I caution them to realize is that the other 50% of their grade comes from discussion boards and regular portfolio assignments, which are due basically every week. And so in order to do well in my course, it's actually better for you to show up and do these small assignments every week because the threshold on those assignments are a lot lower. It's easier to make mistakes, but it's really difficult to fall behind if you're consistently submitting. And that way that when you get to the midterm and when you get to the final, you don't have to hope and worry that you're going to do really, really well on those assignments in order to make the grade. And yet, every semester I have a large group of students who choose not to do the weekly assignments and choose not to participate in the discussion boards because the grades are so small that it doesn't matter which weeks that they miss, as long as they show up for those big assignments, they think they'll do well. And unfortunately, at the end of the semester, I have to have these difficult conversations with them. I try not to hold it against my students because I find myself doing the exact same thing that they do. When I look at my work, I see these big projects and I tend to get fixated on those huge stretches of work that I'll have to do. But I have to remind myself that it's the day to day week to week you show up and you put in the work and you do the time and you put in the reps and all of the metaphors about the steady drip 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 of getting the work done. For instance on my blog post that's going up today I realized last week that I had written over a hundred thousand words on my blog in three and a half years. I didn't set out intentionally with a goal in mind when it comes to a word count but a hundred thousand words I basically wrote a novel in three and a half years just by every week posting new words and thinking about new things and just showing up bit by bit. Every time you go out for a run, every time you step on the scale, every time you exercise or you practice your craft, in those individual moments you don't really get a sense of how far you've come until, well, you know, after a couple months of say going to the gym you'll notice you can pick up heavy things a little bit easier or every time you go out for a run you're a little bit less out of breath and you can go just a little bit farther, a little bit faster. Or when you're working on painting or drawing or anything, when you compare where you are to your first attempts at that thing, you really start to see that difference. And if you get so fixated in the moment of trying to do great work, you tend to get discouraged because you don't see the big picture at play. I've largely just taken it for granted that 95% of the stuff that I do is going to be crap. Most of the blog posts that I put up online, most of the vlogs that I create for this channel, they're not going to be very good. I try to do little new things here and there, but it's all about the practice. It's all about putting in the reps. And over time, I'll start to get better. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to go viral anytime soon, but then again, that's not the point. The point is just continuously building, making progress, enjoying the process, and making something that you can be proud of. After all, that's how you stay awesome.